Good day, everyone. Welcome to our online learning discussion. This is your subject, Social Studies, Grade 7A and 7B. Your teacher here, Ms. Michelle Joy. This video will serve as a recap makeup class, especially for the students who aren't able to join our virtual class today. Let's proceed to our online learning discussion now. Before we proceed to our online learning discussion, I would like us to have a short review or recap of the last topics that we have discussed, which is about the Asia's geographical features. So we have discussed about mountain ranges. This is how it looks like. We have discussed about river plains. This is how it looks like. We also have discussed about plateau, and this is how it looks like. And the last one is volcano, and this is how it looks like. We also actually studied about desert. So these are the topics that we have discussed last week, which is about Asia's geographical features. Class, for our objective of the lesson for today, students must be able to know the three types of climate. So at the end of our online learning discussion, I hope that you already know about the three types of climate and the differences of these three. Class, our topic for today is about the three types of climate. And these are the words to learn. These five words are very important because it will help us better understand our topic for today. Please repeat after me so you can still practice your reading skills and your speaking skills even if you're just at home. Are you ready now? Let's start reading. Number one, climate. Number two, latitude. Number three, polar region. Number four, temperate region. And number five, tropical region. Now let's read the meaning of these words one by one. So these are the synonyms for the word climate, atmosphere, weather, environment, mood, climb. Next word is latitude. It means freedom, space, leeway, scope, play, room, margin, liberty, range, extent. But because we are talking about the three climatic zones, so, latitude in here means the scope of the climatic zone. Next, we have the polar region. Synonyms for polar region. Arctic region, Antarctic, Arctic area, Arctic zone, freezing region. Next, we have temperate region. It means moderate, sober, mild, Calm, restrained, abstemious, reasonable, composed, abstinent, and cool. And the last word that we have is tropical region. And these are the synonyms for tropical regions. We have tropical areas, equatorial regions, orbital regions, tropical zones, and tropics. So from the word equatorial regions, it means that this area is near the equator. So these are the five words that can help us better understand our topic for today. Let's read them one more time. Climate, latitude, polar region, temperate region, and tropical region. To be able to understand climate change, we need to understand climate. What is it? How does it work? What is the difference between weather and climate? In this short video, we'll explain what climate is, how our climate works, and how different factors affect our climate. First of all, let's answer the question of what is the difference between weather and climate? Weather is the elements we see daily, such as temperature, rain and wind. These can change hour by hour and day by day. Climate, on the other hand, looks at how the weather changes over a long period of time, typically around 30 years. Scientists have been able to define climate zones around the world. Here in the UK, we have a temperate climate. That is neither especially hot nor cold, wet nor dry, when compared to other climates. 
Ours is a very different climate to that in the Sahara, for example, which is known as arid, because throughout the year the weather is dry and hot. Scientists have to look at how the atmosphere interacts with the oceans, ice sheets, land masses and vegetation. These different interactions create a climate system, and these interactions, as well as the composition of the atmosphere itself, create a very complex system. The sun also drives our climate. Sunlight provides energy which heats the Earth. Without the Earth's atmosphere and certain gases, our climate would be very different to what it is now. The atmosphere stops the heat from escaping into space. If it didn't do this, our planet would be a very cold place indeed. Certain gases allow the sun's energy through, but stop it from escaping back into space, acting like a greenhouse. That's why it's called the greenhouse effect. The gases responsible for this effect, such as water vapour, carbon dioxide and methane, are called greenhouse gases. Scientists explain the heat trapping effects of greenhouse gases more than 150 years ago. They discovered that without the greenhouse effect, the Earth would be about 30 degrees Celsius cooler making it uninhabitable to most forms of life. Greenhouse gases are so effective at keeping the Earth warm that any changes will affect the Earth's temperature. Now, class, let us study about the climatic zone. So, there are three climatic zones based on latitude. So, we have polar zone, temperate zone, and tropical zone. So, there are three main types of climate around the world located in different latitudes, they have different climatic zones. Hello friends! Today we'll learn about the climate zones of the world. Wow! You're ready for your much-awaited vacation! Very nice! Here you are. Isn't it very cold here? It's because of the different climates. Oh, you look confused. Let me explain this. Climate is the usual condition of temperature, wind, humidity, snow, and rain in an area of the Earth's surface for a long time. Climate is divided into three main groups. Arctic zones, tropical zones, and the temperate zones. Let's learn about them one by one. The Arctic zone. Arctic zones are located at the very top and very bottom of the Earth at the North and South Poles. They mainly include the northern part of Canada, the United States, Finland, Russia, Sweden, Norway, Greenland, and Iceland. In the Arctic, the average winter temperature is around minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. At the South Pole, it's even much colder. It's even too cold for trees to grow. You won't find trees in Antarctica, but some types of small shrubs, lichens, and algae somehow grows in this climate. Animals like polar bears and arctic foxes are adapted to the extreme weather of the arctic zones. Humpback whales and walruses live in the arctic ocean. Different types of penguins, including the emperor penguin, live in Antarctica. Now let's visit the tropical zones. These zones are the region of the Earth near to the equator and between the Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere. The tropical zone includes the Amazon Basin of Brazil, West Africa's Congo Basin, and the rainforests of Indonesia and Malaysia. This climate zone experiences high temperatures all year round and lots and lots of rain, and so the climate of the zone is very humid. Sugar cane, soybeans, rice, sweet potatoes, bananas, mangoes, cocoa, tea and coffee, etc. are grown in this zone. The climate of the tropical zone is perfect for animals like jaguars, anaconda, etc. And now it's time to visit the temperate zones. These zones are usually midway between the equator and the poles. This region includes most of Western Europe, 
and some areas of the North America's west coast in the Northern Hemisphere. In the southern half of the world, the southeast of Australia, some areas of Chile and Argentina, and New Zealand have a temperate climate. The weather isn't extreme in this zone. They usually have warm, dry summers and short, rainy winters. A wide variety of animals, like raccoons, deer, and moose, live in temperate forests. In temperate regions, you can easily see trees like pine, deodor, fir, and spruce. These zones are well suited to agricultural production of rice and other crops. Let's see the climate zones once more. The coldest polar zone, warm and humid tropical zone, and the moderate temperate zone. Now you know a lot about climate zones in the Earth. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye. So class, let us study about the three types of climate. And the first one is the polar region. So polar regions between 66.5 degree north to 90 degree north and 66.5 degree south to 90 degree south. Very low temperatures, very little rain, and it's below 250 millimeter a year. So additional fact about the polar region. So the polar regions are considered to be an extreme environment because of the extremely cold temperatures. So when you say extremely, it means very, very cold and windy weather. Did you know that Antarctica holds a record-breaking temperature for coldest climate, which is negative 89.2 Celsius? This environment is also known for its ice caps and glaciers. Now, class, let's proceed to the second type of climate, which is the temperate zone or temperate region. So, temperate regions between 23.5 degree north to 66.5 degree north and 23.5 degree south to 66.5 degree south. Low to moderate temperature, moderate annual rainfall, 300 millimeter to 1000 millimeter. So additional facts about the temperate zone or temperate region between the 45 degrees and the 60 degrees on both hemisphere. So we have the southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere. Mat, it is between 12 degrees Celsius and negative 10 degrees Celsius. Mar is great. So there are four seasons, autumn, spring, winter, and summer dominated by west winds. Four climate areas, we have the marine climate area, continental climate area, semi-arid and arid climate area, and subarctic climate area. So plus the third type of climate is the tropical climate. So the tropical regions between 23.5 degree north to 23.5 degrees south and 23.5 degrees south of the equator. High temperatures all year. It means to say, class, you can swim all year round. High annual rainfall above 1,000 millimeter. So additional fact about the tropical climate. The tropical climate is a continental type of climate where there is no change of the monsoon which prevails all year round in the tropical climate. The mode of the wind in these continent, continental areas is not so typical. So our country class, your country and Miss MJ's country is actually on the tropical region. So it means to say class that it is high temperatures all year round. Now class, for the summary of the topics, so we have discussed about the three types of climate. So there are three major climate zones. The planet Earth can be divided into three basic climate zones. And these zones are tropical regions, temperate regions, and polar regions. Now, class, for your activity, which is live worksheet, I'm going to post the link in the Google Classroom so that you can answer the activity. 
So all you have to do, class, is to drag the words from the right going to the left, read the paragraph, and answer questions number one, two, three, and four. Click finish, click check my answers, your scores are going to appear, screenshot, and upload in social studies album in your line group. Thank you so much and good luck. Now class, we now come to the end of our online learning discussion. If you have any questions, suggestions, comments, or anything that you want to say to Ms. MJ, please feel free to call me or send me a message in my personal line account and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much and I'll see you again on Thursday. Goodbye, stay safe!